Next up is Nathan Chow talking about the importance of character in education. Good afternoon and welcome to my classroom. My name, my name is Mr. Chow, but that actually makes me feel old, so let's go with Nathan for today. Um, people ask me all the time why I became a teacher. I always tell them, well, first of all, it was not to make money, and that's working really well. <laughs> uh, I actually tell them there are revolutions in teaching arts instead of just math and languages. There are revolutions in teaching, in diversified teaching and not just lecturing. There are revolutions in teaching a student to enjoy the learning process and not just aim for a high test score. And thanks to Sir Ken Robinson and many others, there are revolutions in embracing different talents and different passions and not just seeing traditional academic skills as the most important and crucial to the world. We need chefs, we need firefighters, we need lots of other things other than just <laughs> professors, other than just professors according to Sir Ken Robinson. But there's no revolution in teaching what really matters in schools. Um, I've always believed that the most important thing to teach is character. <laughs> there, are, there are many aspects of character, focus, perseverance, Respect, joy, teamwork, integrity. These are just a few, and I have a limited amount of time up here. Six minutes to be exact, and there's no timer, but at least, at least I know what it feels like to win an Oscar tomorrow. <laughs> um, the most, so instead of focusing on all aspects of character, I'm just gonna focus on the one that I truly believe is the most important, and that is love. I actually clicked this too, way too early. Um, we need <laughs> We need to teach our children how to love. <laughs> Whoops, wrong slide. This is for Ted XXX. <laughs> I, I repeat to my students, it's important to gain knowledge, but it's more important to give love. Put stuff in, give this out. Put stuff in, give this out. Yeah, that's, that's an easy one. <laughs> um, we must not only develop our talents, but we must use them for the greater good of the world. This works on a small scale. One day, one of my sixth grade students came up to me and told me her friend was absent because her boyfriend, her longtime boyfriend, just broke up with her. I asked her, how long have they been going out? She said, a long time, eight weeks. I told, I told my student to go home, push her homework aside, give her friend a call, spend the night with her, talk to her, hug her. When we push academics too hard and ignore the character lessons, no matter how small, we are essentially telling our students that a high test grade is the most important thing in life. Let's bring back the human side of teaching. This also works on a large scale. If you learn something at this event today, then when you exit those doors, or these in the next 
if there happens to be a fire in the next two minutes. <laughs> if, if you learned something at this event today, uh, <laughs> if you learned something at this event today, then you're putting stuff in. When you leave, give this out. I have an idea worth spreading, but I'm actually afraid of public speaking. <laughs> but I still chose to be up here today. And I still choose to stand in front of my classroom every day. All the knowledge in the world is useless, maybe even detrimental, if we don't learn to use it for the greater good of the world. Cast away your fears and cast away your idleness. Ideas worth spreading, actions worth doing. Learn it, then do it, and do it for the right reasons. What if we teach a student all the skills necessary for success, but never teach her about character? We might get this. What if we teach a student to enjoy learning on his own, to experiment with knowledge in the wee hours of morning, but never teach them about character. We might get this. And what if we teach a student public speaking intense determination and fierce leadership, but leave out the lessons on love? We might get this. I really wish I had a joke for you right now. <laughs> we can teach students to reach their full potential, but not teach them about love. That's a scary thought. It's important to gain knowledge, but it's more important to give love. John Lennon once sang, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Do we want this? Yeah. <laughs> I do too. It starts in school, and we have to teach it. Thank you. <laughs>